Thank you. Oh, mwah, mwah. Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. Tonight I am finally watching the horror classic, The Emoji Movie. Just kidding, I've seen Carrie. I've seen the movie Tamara, which is in my mind a Carrie-esque film. It's about a beautiful high school girl who gets bullied, and then she dies, and then she comes back and kills everybody. I know that's not the plot of Carrie, but it, in my mind it was similar enough. I was like, I don't, I don't need to see Carrie. I mean, it's the same exact thing. I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know if it's scary or just suspenseful. I just know that she gets covered in blood at some point. And so shall I! Sorry if my audio is bad. My microphone for my camera Ran out of batteries. I don't know how to take the, the thing off for the battery pack. Can't figure it out, you guys. I'm blonde. Do you get it? A dumb blonde. Okay, moving on. I'm excited to watch something that's like an old, a classic. So let's do it. Tamtoba Fest. <laughs> Tamara's never seen. Tagline, I was wrong. <laughs> No, no, Tamara, you have heard a lot about this movie. Don't blame this on others, it's your fault. The story was so much different than I thought it was going to be. In my mind, Carrie was always this beautiful, stunning high schooler who's just like a little awkward and she's getting bullied. I was like, ah, oh, she's unbelievable and you know, I don't think I'll sympathize with this character, really, which is what a bitchy thing to say, Tamara, but honestly, I loved her. She was so good at being, she's clearly beautiful, but she was really good at being a tormented teenager who has a batshit crazy mom who has been raised in this extremist religion, who has never had a dad, who had, all these things have, have led up to her being who she is. And she does such a good job with the acting. I just, I love her. Is she in anything else? Ah! So you open on Carrie in high school. They're in PE class and Carrie misses a shot for a volleyball game they're playing in PE and all the girls are livid. They're pissed and they're making fun of her and they're hitting her in the face. And that's the most unrealistic part of this entire film is how seriously these young women are taking a volleyball game that they played in PE. Because thinking back on high school, there's nothing that I cared less about than PE. <laughs> then I just wrote, whoa, locker room boobs. Then after I thought about it a little bit more, I realized that these were all high school women and you're just getting a very long drawn out, kind of like never ending story-esque misty, mystical scene of just a lot of women's boobs and bushes and bodies. And then Carrie's taking a shower and she's like, oh my god, it's a porno. We're just, I'm just gonna lather up. It's weird! It was shot in a beautiful way that, that like, I think you're supposed to be into it. <laughs> and that's weird if they're in high school, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I mean? I guess here. So while lathering herself up in a porno fashion, Carrie starts her period for the first time ever, and she freaks out. And listen, I get it. Once a month? Are you kidding me? Disgusting. No thank you. What a bummer the woman's body can be. A ravenous hellscape that no one can rid of. But this wasn't just a, damn, that sucks. This was a hysterical, Helenus crazy freak out and you find out that she's freaking out because she has never heard of a period before and it's because her mom is so religious. I hesitate to use this word. I know a lot of people online don't love this word. It's very triggering to someone who grew up in like a lot of like extreme religiousness. <laughs> it was very like, ah, I get it. I see. I understand. I get all of this happening to a lesser extent. I was never locked in a closet. Right? No. I just wrote, oh poor Carrie. Three words. And that should be the tagline of the film. Carrie. Oh poor Carrie. <laughs> so you see her dealing with her mom. You see her dealing with the bullies in school. And you also see her dealing with these telekinetic powers that she has. She flips a, a, an ashtray in the principal's office. And she flips this boy off of his bike when he's like, scary Carrie, scary Carrie. And she breaks a mirror in her room when she's sad that her mom is like hitting her. 
And it's all pretty relaxed at this point. I know that the movie is gonna go to the extreme. I've seen the blood photo before, but if this was me, I would just be like, F bitches and die. Y'all can go to hell. Bye! Really, the only person that's like behind her in all of this is the PE teacher who saw the sad period scene in the very beginning where they threw a bunch of tampons and pads at her. So funny. <laughs> High school girls are very creative. Hilarious! But the PE teacher rules. She's trying to encourage her to come out of her shell. I know she slaps a girl in the face. And that's not technically cool, but whatever, she rules. So I wrote down, oh my god, John Travolta is in this. And then I wrote down, oh no, he slapped the popular girl again. She gets slapped a lot in this film. Nice popular girl is feeling very shitty at this point, And she tells her crush to ask Carrie to the prom. And it's really cute. And he's like, all right, I'll do it. And they're very wholehearted and very sweet and just good sports about it. And he's like, no, yeah, sure, for sure. I mean, it's kind of weird, but yeah, no, I'll do it. And like, so kind and you just rooting for him the whole time. At the prom, he's kind of like falling for Carrie. The prom is great. She's so happy, so sweet. I already feel so bad because I know what's coming. Carrie and Tommy win prom king and queen. I knew it was coming, but I was still really sad about it happening. And I didn't want it to ruin her prom. I knew her prom was gonna be ruined, but I didn't want it to be ruined. And so I was like, you know, whatever. It won't happen. Everything's fine. Popular evil girl and John Travolta are under the stage drinking beer. And I think that John Travolta is just always under a high school auditorium stage drinking beer. And then somebody's like, hey, you have a role. And he's like, cool, cool, cool. Here I come. What does he do in his off time? I think that. The whole school is really happy for her. She won prom queen and everyone's like, oh, why have we been such dicks to her? Well, this is so cool. What a, what a triumphant underdog story. They spend like five minutes with her on stage just being very happy and crying. She's like, thank you. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Uh -huh. Five minutes. And then this happens. left for the prom, her mom was like, everyone's gonna laugh at you, everyone's gonna laugh at you. And she shows up, everyone's really nice to her, except for John Travolta and Chris, the popular bitch. And so, when that happens, she hears her mother's words in her mind, and then she kills everyone. She kills Tommy, the guy that was really nice to her, and kissed her. And she kills the PE teacher, which is like, her greatest ally. The popular girl Chris and John Travolta drive towards her as she walks down the street. Like they're gonna murder her. And I know she just killed an auditorium full of high school students, but that's a little extreme. I am still Team Carrie. Team Carrie, everyone! Of course she kills them, topples their car over. Telekinesis, that's how it works. She goes home and her mom has this crazy episode. She stabs Carrie and then Carrie Full on just telekinesis stabs her mom with a bunch of knives. My favorite part of this is that the Jesus statue that she's been praying to this whole time has a very specific stab wound pattern and she stabs her mom in the same exact pattern. I think that's awesome. The house spontaneously combusts and then falls into the earth. Unfortunately, she dies in her mother's arms while the house goes into the ground. And I know that her mom was all that she had, but her mom was also terrible and it's a really sad fate for her. I wrote, not scary, but really well done and truly horrifying. This was so psychological. It was so well developed character wise. Next week, I'm putting out a video with Doug Walker on the first and original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then we're doing the human centipede, which hilarious. Oh God. <laughs> have a video coming out this week on my personal channel about uh, this cosplay and a lot of fun October things so check that out if you're interested thank you so much for watching I'll see you all next week bye it's edible too doesn't I mean it doesn't taste good mm -mm.